Hey guys, Mish here, and today I have a study for you on how a high-fat diet might affect your ability to do exercise, specifically cardio. So some of you may have heard about studies showing that your exercise ability is left intact with the ketogenic diet or a very high-fat diet, but the main study that gets referenced for this only had five participants, which is woefully low and you really can't make many conclusions based on a study on five people. So this study took 20 men instead of five and put them on a high-fat diet for six weeks and looked at how this affected their ability to exercise. And these men weren't elite athletes, but they also weren't sedentary. So these were recreationally active people, probably like you and me. So half of them went on a high-fat diet and half of them left their diet unchanged so they could see how their exercise abilities changed over time. And the high-fat diet consisted of about 60% fat and less than 10% carbs. And they ate a lot of things like meat, cheese, other kinds of dairy, nuts, peanut butter, and things like that. So a lot of fat, and they pretty much avoided all carbs. And before the diet manipulation, they had participants do two main exercise measures. One was a sprint test on the bike, and the second was a 45-minute timed ride. So the first test was more high-intensity with the sprints, and the second test was more of an endurance test, so they could sort of look at both of the main components of exercise that people might do, or cardio. And so they looked at power output for both of these tests, and peak power output. Say hi, Popper! Maya's very interested in biking, we just went for a bike ride. Um, and after six weeks, the results show that the people who got a high-fat diet had lower peak and mean power output on the sprints, so they were able to sort of go less fast, and overall were less fast, so it wasn't just a redistribution of power, it was actually, they just put out less power, so they were able to do less exercise in a way. And then you found a similar result for the endurance test, or the 45 minute bike ride, where they once again put out less power than they did before they went on the high fat diet. And so this is sort of a within and between groups design, because the high fat group did worse than they did before they went on the high fat diet, and they did worse than the controls after six weeks. So it wasn't just an effect over time where everyone got worse, it was just the high fat people who got worse at exercise. And interestingly, people on the high-fat diet were also much more likely to feel tired, so they had higher levels of perceived exertion after fewer minutes on the bike. And so they felt like they were doing the same amount of work, if not more, and felt way more tired just because of this high-fat diet, even though they were doing less work and exercising less well. So it seems like a high-fat diet really impaired your exercise performance, at least in cardio. And for future videos, I'll look for a study on how high-fat diet might affect your resistance training, but for now, we're just focusing on the cardio, because that's what this study did. And interestingly, similar studies like this have found that even after a carb refeed, participants still had suboptimal exercise performance. So it seems like something about being on a high-fat diet is impairing your exercise abilities, even beyond just the lack of carbs. So once you get your carbs back, you still have an impairment from having gone on this high-fat diet. So it seems to actually have long-lasting impairments on your ability to do cardio. So we don't quite know the mechanism yet, but it's something besides just not having glycogen or glucose that is screwing with your ability to exercise. And another possible argument for this is that, oh, is the high-fat diet group eating less calories and therefore have less energy to spend on exercise? But no, they're actually eating about 700 more calories. And usually people would say that eating a high-fat diet like that would make you lose weight, because that's the whole basis of the keto diet. But these participants only lost 4 pounds, and so that sounds like weight loss, but we have to keep in mind that the average man, which this study was men, is about 200 pounds, let's say, so we might have 10 to 12 pounds of glycogen mixed with water stored on their body. And so when you eat a very low-carb diet like this, you lose at least half of your glycogen. So really, they should have lost 5 or 6 pounds just from water weight, but they actually lost less than that over the 6-week period. So it's kind of looking like they lost some water weight and then gained some weight back from this high-fat diet. So it seems like a keto diet did not actually lead to weight loss in this case. And even though it didn't cause weight loss, it still impaired your ability to do cardio and your exercise performance. So to sum it all up, a high-fat diet impaired these participants' exercise performance, made them slower, made them put out less power, made them feel more tired, and it did not lead to weight loss and might have actually led to a net gain because they only lost four pounds when really the water weight itself should have been five or six. So seems like they didn't lose any weight and they lost exercise ability. 
And so overall, it pretty much sounds like the high fat diet had nothing to offer besides clogged arteries from all that saturated fat. So I hope that was interesting to you and that you might take it into account next time you are considering trying a high fat diet to improve your exercise performance because it might actually have the opposite effect. Also, as I mentioned last video, I just started a Patreon account and I would really, really appreciate it if you guys could help me out by pledging a dollar or two for every time I make a video because I am a poor grad student. I don't have much time, but I really love to make these videos. So if you guys want to keep seeing them, I'd really appreciate that. Otherwise, I would also really appreciate if you could press subscribe below or share my videos. Thanks so much for watching.